Are you ready to get down and dirty with some tools? Let's tool around. It's time to get wild about some gear with Will Frazier. And thanks for willing out with me. And puns and wordplay aside, let's get into it. Today, we're going to take a look at an 8-inch tote by... Tough built. What a name. Good idea. But in my mind, it's not a sticky brand yet. Let's see if they can work on it. I've seen some good stuff from them so far. So let's see how they do. Have no fear. We are here to play with some gear. All right. Here is the tough built eight inch tote pouch, freshly unboxed. Let's drop it and see what sticks out to you first. What do you notice? Oops. All right, let's try that again. Softer. Yeah. You, you, what do you see there? What jumps out at you? That's right. It's got a little lean to it. All right, we're gonna take this all apart and then we're gonna load it up with some tools and see how she sits after a little bit of weight. All right, now that we've got it unbagged a little bit, you can see that it's sitting a little bit sturdier, but I would still say that the eight inch tote is a little too narrow to have some girth on its side, but let's let's dive in. I'm gonna load it up with tools and see if it sits any better with the tools. One of the things that I was initially impressed by is that this came on Amazon bundled together. You got the eight-inch tote, and then you've got the the hip gear that also has a has an easy slide-in spot right on the tote. Now, if you do decide to purchase this, I'd love it if you hop down on the affiliate link below. Followed it to Amazon and got all the tough built gear that you want or anything else. That would be a great way to partner with us and help us get better and better results out of what we do. But my guess is after watching this, we're not going to be a huge fan of this particular tough build. Now, let's see how it does with, with some tools. All in all, you've got two pockets on this side that have a little bit more slack to them. You've got three slots over here. You've got the tool clip. And then you've got a great organizer pocket over here with this is your, uh, your tape measure clip with the reinforced edge. You've got a couple screwdriver or you know, other bit holes. And then inside, this is where the fun starts. So you've got a pocket over here. You've got your, your screwdriver holes here. And then your three open open mouth areas. This is deep enough that you could store some stuff, not deep enough for a hammer, we'll, we'll throw that in there, but some, uh, some drop-in pliers or... It does have Velcro in the bottom, but I've fiddled around with it long enough to know that I have no idea why it's there. These are, these pockets, or these dividers are sewn in here on the side. They're not removable, so no clue what the point of that would be. Now this is a little pocket dedicated to an extra one of these. The purpose is you can clip this right on your hip, slide it onto your belt, and now this little portable genie clips right into here. Or you need it back on your sack, you clip it right back here. It is pretty usable. It's very, very functional and easy to, to use. And this little one-handed on-off lever, while it is all plastic. It's plastic on plastic on plastic. So I've got my doubts on how long that will last. But if it lasts, that's awesome. So you've got this built in here. You got this one for your, your belt that's got its own home here. And that's pretty smart. Now let's load her up. All right, before we get crazy and start loading up all of this into here, I want to fiddle around with this for a minute. And if you know anything about the tough built systems and can help me, please comment and teach me how to do this so that I don't feel so insane. This is the belt clip loop, and it is uh, it is modeled off of this directly. So in this, I fiddled with this in a store a few days ago. Dude, it just worked. Like how insane is it that that is so tough? I've tried to do this with two hands, with three hands, with one mouth, and I'm like, dude, I am surely about to break something. And that just popped off. Oh my gosh. So, all right, discover it with me. This thing on the bottom, it does open. It looks like it because there's two hinges here. It looks like it would open, 
you just have to put the hurt on this little plastic clip. So let's reference my concerns about how long this plastic stuff is gonna last in the previous segment and acknowledge that, but hope for the best because this is some high grade plastic. It reminds me of those old like Nalgene bottles, but on steroids. We're back, we're loaded, we're locked and let's go. All right, so yes, this is not the most logical assortment of tools and we're not even close to maxed out. But one of the things I will, I will point out is that this is way better with all the, the screwdrivers and the heavy stuff loaded here. I don't like having to be mindful of distribution when I'm loading a tote or a toolbox, but the, the fundamental flaw of this design being it's just, it's not a narrow or a wide enough base to be stabilized over the length. And I noticed that when I first unboxed it and I set it down and it was leaning and then I pushed really easily and it, and it tilted over. Not nearly the same with this loaded up. So I would be, if I needed this small of a tote, then, uh, then I would be absolutely fine with the stability. Now, something I, I will point out that is a grievance for me. So this is, this is a 22 inch hammer, uh, 22 ounce, sorry, normal 24 inch hammer. And it, you can, you can dump it in there, you can carry it, but it sticks out here. I had a problem at first getting these tall, these are, that's not that tall, but uh, these are very long drivers and I had a, a hard time getting them in, but I think a lot of that was just needing to be broken in. So if you need a hammer, if you need a drill driver, anything like that, uh, this may not be your best fit, but if it's just an occasional carry along and you need this small tote, then yeah, this is nice. Uh, this is awesome. So if you are like a home inspector or a general handyman and you need that quick versatility, if you're an electrical, but you do a lot of light work, the ability to switch between hip and tote is pretty nice. And to be honest, I think probably the, the best laid out part about this is the, the clip or the, the clip on and then this front pocket here. You see the tape measure is right here. It's held on by this little leather reinforced grommet. It sticks very well and it receives with one hand and then you've got lots of room to dump a lot of things in. So all in all, I would say it's less disappointing than I started out thinking. Still got a little lean to it. Still not something that would, still got a little lean to it still would be upgraded with a few more inches. I think if we look at the 15 or 16 inch tote, we're gonna have a pleasant bit of surprise. Even though on that larger tote, you're not gonna have the clip on at the same price point. All right, gang, this has been a look at the Tough Built 8 inch tote with removable side clip. And all in all, I would say that I'm more impressed than I was starting out. I think that without loading it down, I would have just returned it. I would have just said, hey, this isn't worth it. I don't like it for any application. I have a Milwaukee a 16 inch tote that I ultimately chose over a Husky 15 inch tote that they're both open, open mouth, both have really good, uh, really good optimized storage. But then I was walking through the store and saw the 15 inch open mouth version of this tough built bad boy. And I thought, whoa, the quality of this seems sky high. Couldn't quite figure it out the, the clips at the time, but as we did today, we broke them in, <laughs> into submission. And so what I would say is that this is a great fit for the handyman, the, the space conscious DIYer or the space conscious, I'm not a full time electrician, plumber, so and so, but I need a certain set of tools. This is gonna be a great fit for that. And as far as quality goes, we'll have to put it into to play and measure it over a few months and years and see how it, it stacks up. But I, I think that it's overall well built. I started to say tough build, but I think it's well made. It seems like the plastic pieces are all high grade, long lasting plastic. And I think that 
there's an eye towards design and utility with this stuff built setup that I'll be interested to see how my guys like. So I will look forward to putting out an update to this video in you know, six months to a year and seeing how tough, tough build is. Thanks for tuning in. We will occasionally be diving in to gear, tools, and different reviews because we love being nerdy about things that are fun to be nerdy about. So if you like fooling with tools, Check us out next time. Don't forget to subscribe and join us for all of our different gear, tools, and real estate related content.